Okay, so let's install MATLAB on Mac OS. I go to the MathWorks website, mathworks.com, and sign in using my York username and email address. You're going to use yours. I then use my York username and password and two-factor authentication. And then from there, I get to the page where there's an arrow to download MATLAB, that arrow right there. And I can choose the Intel version for Mac OS 2023A. In this case, I'm going to go to 2023B pre-release. And I'm going to um, choose a customized version for uh, Mac OS Intel. But you probably have uh, a silicon version, an Apple silicon version instead. So download that one for you if that's what you have for your machine. I'll wait for the executable to download onto my computer. And then I will run that DMG uh, package with the executable inside. And I'll wait for it to ask to open. And then I'll be asked for my password for the computer, not for York, not for the university, but for my personal computer. And so this will be the password for the user on my computer that allows a change to be made directly to my computer um, when the package installs as an application on my computer. So here's the password for my own computer. I write it in. And now I wait for the installation to continue. So here we go. Uh, now again, I have to re-authenticate with the MathWorks using the York username, email, password, and two-factor authentication. So we have to do this again. And we'll wait. And here we go. We agreed to those terms. We confirm it's going to go into applications. And this takes a while to, to download and install. The whole process on my old Intel Mac OS machine took about 30 minutes. At this stage, I get to see all of the different packages that could be installed here. I just want the regular MATLAB with no other libraries to install. So I make sure to click that. And this takes about 20 minutes or so. It'll download about four gigabytes worth of uh, program. So that's why you don't want to put more libraries than you need to. And, and then here it glitches out a little bit because I had a previous version of MATLAB on here. So I'm going to have to expand out the window that's sort of in the corner over there. Um, you hopefully won't have to do this and you'll be greeted with a proper MATLAB screen. So in my case, the MATLAB screen was minimized. You can see the, the, uh, the three dots there, the red, the amber, and the green. I'm going to have to expand that out. It took me a while to figure out what was going on here um, because this isn't normal, but if this happens to you, then do the same thing. You're going to want to expand the application window that's up there on the left. Um, you can see here me, st I'm struggling here to figure out what's going on. Um, but I eventually figured it out. So there, I open up that window and it has some of my old files uh, in the uh, editor here. So I'm going to close those. And again, you won't see these yourself. So I'm just going to close those to simplify the screen. I'll be left with, there you go, just like that. So I'm going to do a new script. And I'm going to expand the window so I can see the command window as well inside of here. All right, so there we go. There's the editor window and the command window down below. And so in the command window, I'm just going to say one plus one, just a simple little math statement, and then hit enter. I should say two. And then I can go into the editor window where it says untitled in that tab. And I'm going to say a is equal to one plus one. So I'm going to assign effectively two into the variable called one and then display the contents of a. Then I'm going to hit the run icon. It'll ask me to save it. So I will. This is untitled.m or temp.m. Run it and we're good.